Many companies use market research to inform their marketing and communications to customers and prospects, which is the right approach. However, there's a problem with simply asking survey respondents to say what is important to their purchase decisions and then relying on those answers. The reason is that people are conditioned to give certain answers, answers that are not necessarily the true factors driving their purchase decisions. Why does this happen? Studies from neuroscience and psychology have shown that this happens for a combination of reasons. Often, people don't consciously understand the reasons why they buy, so they give the expected answers. People are also reluctant to admit they made a purchase decision based on feelings, so they give socially acceptable reasons like quality and price because they want to be seen as savvy and sophisticated. At six degrees, we have seen this effect time and again. When asking customers and prospects directly why they made a brand purchase decision, the most common answers we see are rational and expected reasons, and this is true of both consumers and professional customers. Take, for example, the following results from one of our clients whose survey asked customers and prospects of histology products to rate the most important purchase criteria for those products. Respondents rated 17 criteria on importance. Not surprising, the top two most important stated reasons for purchasing a given company's histology products were 1. High quality products and 2. Responsive and timely support. Near the bottom were more general and emotional reasons like, is a company with a long history in histology? Unfortunately, many companies will take stated importance data like this and run with it, crafting their marketing efforts around the attributes reported as most important by respondents. And frankly, it's hard to blame them. The insidiousness of stated importance data is that it makes so much sense, it's logical. Unless, of course, you happen to know that stated importance data is often not to be trusted at face value, for the reasons mentioned earlier. So, if we can't really trust stated importance data, what can we do? At six degrees, we have learned to trust something we call a driver analysis. Simply put, a driver analysis uses statistical techniques to identify the true drivers of purchase behavior. For example, by looking at how a group of brands is rated on various attributes and the purchase intent of the individual brand, we can identify the strongest predictors of actual purchase intent. This implicit analysis uncovers which attributes actually drive brand purchase intent, as opposed to trusting explicit importance ratings given by respondents. To come back to the earlier client example, remember how respondents said that product quality and service and support were rated as most important from a list of 17 attributes when considering the purchase of histology products? Well, our statistical driver analysis on the data set identified two completely different variables as most predictive of brand purchase intent. They were in order. Number one, enables me to diagnose with greater confidence. And two, is a company with a long history in histology. This is not an unusual finding when using our driver analysis methodology. When you ask someone what's important in determining which brand they will purchase, you will most likely get a different answer than what actually drives their purchase behavior. Fortunately, running a driver analysis from the results of a well-structured survey allows us to get past the ego-protecting and socially expected answers. Companies can then use these deeper and more accurate insights to inform their marketing strategy. Let your competition emphasize the expected attributes in their marketing communications. They are always table stakes anyway, while you focus on the real drivers of customer behavior. Now that's powerful market research.